Hello and welcome to the first edition of Hacked My Mac. Well, with today's edition, we are going to take uh, two sets of Apple Pro speakers, and uh, as you can see here, and we will take two sets of these and build a center channel for a home feeder. And to do so, we will take a kit, um, a little project kit from a local electronics store and uh, we will build a little box that will convert uh, that that will house two to to take a regular uh, you know uh, audio channel from an amplifier regular speaker wires and convert it to accept two pins for the Apple Pro speaker connectors to do so you will need two Apple Pro connectors from a G4 digital audio which I have here now I was able to remove these from two different digital audio motherboards and by doing so I was able to obtain two connectors. So as you see here we have a G4 digital audio motherboard minus the connector uh, which I removed. And by doing by removing that um, it wasn't uh, this this particular model you see here uh, was actually a real pain in the neck to desolder all those little pins off of there. So for the second motherboard, what I did is I constructed a, um, a heat gun and uh, I didn't construct the heat gun, but I took a heat gun and I constructed a little tin foil wrap um, that would actually go over uh, the pins on, so, uh, so on the back of the motherboard as to desolder um, all the pins at once. So for all those who want to uh, use this tip in the future, it really does work. Um, I tested it out and indeed it does. So by shaping the tin foil to this shape, I was able to concentrate uh, the the amount of heat going in a particular area, and which is just right over those pins there. And uh, and I used a regular um, set of pliers on the bottom to grip the connector on the other side of the motherboard. And as the heat gun was heating this up, um, it was it was actually melting all the solder at once and I was able to remove the pins, uh, the connector, all at once. So it worked out quite nicely. Um, and notably, the motherboard is unharmed. So that is a, a good thing. Um, the little uh, little warning there when you're using a heat gun uh, and so close to your object, you might want to consider wearing gloves because I did singe my skin a little bit uh, waiting for the solder to melt. So... Um, on to the project. So we have our speakers. Uh, this is just one pair, but I actually have another pair that are waiting to also uh, go in. So I've got two connectors here. I got a pre-cut uh, and pre-drilled uh, PCP board from a local hardware store. Um, and I also had to figure out which of these pins on the bottom were going to control the positive and negative for the right and left channel of the speakers. So uh, what I did is I took a piece of cardboard and I set the connector on the cardboard uh, like so and I actually marked the holes to where I wanted the pins, where the pins should go. And then once I had the holes marked I removed, I removed the connection and was able to poke a hole all the way through. And on the flip side I was able to write down and test out and write down which uh, led, which lead went to, you know, which uh, positive right, uh, right negative, uh, left negative, and left positive. So to test the polarity, um, I got a tip from a friend of mine, and uh, who shall rena remain anonymous at this time, um, and unless he so discloses, um, you know who that is. <laughs> and uh, I took a 9-volt battery, and I attached two wires to it and it was able to test out um, the polarity um, by using the 9 volt. The 9 volt is harmless to the speaker, um, harmless to most speakers I say. Any, any speaker you know smaller than this I'm not sure. Um, but a speaker that you can definitely see the cone uh, come in or go out. So basically if the polarity is correct the cone will push out and you know you have the positive and negative set correctly. So uh, what I have here is the two connectors I'm going to uh, reconfigure this inside of this box because these figures, these connectors uh, pretty much don't go in there properly right now. So I have some hacking to do inside of this thing. 
and uh, and I will keep you informed for part two. Thank you very much.